<laughs> this is a message to doctors. Doctors everywhere. You guys need to step up. I went to the doctor recently <coughs> for this and told her I've been coughing so hard that I've been throwing up and peeing myself. And I have an elevated temp. It's not high. It's high for me because I run low. I run low all the time, but it's not super high. It's 100.7 was what it was at the doctor. She ignored that. I have body aches. I hurt everywhere. So what it probably was was a cold exacerbated by autoimmune disease, which I have. Or it was the flu. Either way, I needed help. This doctor looked me in the eye and said, it's just your allergies. Keep taking your allergy medicine. That is not acceptable. I don't know where she went to school. I don't know what she was thinking. But this is clearly... <coughs> this is clearly not allergies. And at this point, since I didn't get any help, I didn't get any prednisone, which is what I needed because I have autoimmune disease. It's probably turned into bronchitis now. It That's a pattern for me. And for people with autoimmune disease or any kind of immune issue, this is what happens. It's You get a virus. You can't kick it. It turns into something bacterial and you need antibiotics and prednisone. And in this case, an inhaler. That's what happens. And it could have been avoided if she had just given me prednisone or otherwise helped me, which she didn't do because it was allergies, which just for the record, my roommate and my mom are both sick as dogs with my allergies, though they're getting better and I'm not because I have autoimmune disease. I have a dual diagnosis of auto of, of undifferentiated autoimmune connective tissue disease and dystonia, which is a movement disorder. She ignored that. That's in my chart. She ignored it. She ignored everything I had to say. She disregarded me. She treated me like an idiot. She treated me like an asshole. And I know, and I know what the problem is. I know what she did and I know what was going on in her brain. And what it was is that this is a hypochondriac drug seeker. That's what I've, I know that's what it is. And 90% of you doctors do this and it drives me nuts. And I know it. I know it because for 15 years... I had autoimmune disease and nobody believed me. I said it for 15 years. And since nobody believed me, I had to treat it myself, which means I became an expert on my body. I followed my symptoms. I tracked my symptoms. I treated myself and I did it well enough that for 13 of those years with active autoimmune disease, I was still able to stay working in direct care, no less, which means I have medical experience, 13 years worth of medical experience. <laughs> so... <coughs> So I know when there something is just a cold and when it's something else. That's a big part of direct care is knowing when the person needs to go see a doctor because it's something serious. And I was very good at my job and I know my body and I <coughs> and this is not allergies. And like I said, I did this for 15 years. 15 years of doctors ignoring me. So I know and it, that's what it was. But the thing is, I am not a teenager anymore with an empty chart, okay? I am a 32-year-old woman with a dual diagnosis that is in my chart, and she ignored it. I have autoimmune disease. And if someone with autoimmune disease comes in, and they have inflammation, and they have things going on, and they tell you, you, <coughs> <coughs> you should pay attention, because we can't deal with viruses the way other people do. It doesn't work that way. And if you don't know anything about somebody's condition, you don't just ignore it. You either you pass them off to a different doctor or you ask them or you look it up before you come in it into the room, okay? You could go to Wikipedia, go to fucking WebMD or something. I understand doctors can't know everything, but then if you don't know something, you look it up. You don't just disregard them and treat them like shit. And like I said, 15 years of this, 15 years I did that. So I know that 90% of doctors are like this. <laughs> and it's not acceptable. I can't afford to keep going back to the doctor for this. I am disabled. I have no insurance. I cannot keep doing this. I cannot keep going back to the doctor for something simple like bronchitis. And I certainly cannot afford to end up in the hospital with pneumonia because I had untreated bronchitis so long. <laughs> because I couldn't afford to go see a doctor three or four times for the same damn thing. You guys need to step up. This is ridiculous, and I know about 90% of you guys do. Do this. I know you do.
because I did, I did this for 15 years. 15 years of this, so I know. For those of doctors who don't do this, who are good doctors, we appreciate you. Thank you. You are wonderful people. And if you actually listen to your patients, then you are a wonderful doctor and you deserve praise. But for the 90% of you who don't do that, you need to step up your game. You need to just look inside yourself and remember why you became a doctor. And if it was, and if it was to help people, you need to step up and start doing that again. Because you've fallen from grace or something, but you're treating people like shit. And you need to stop it. You need to step up. <coughs>